Well, we have agreements with Honduras, Guatemala, with El Salvador. We have great agreements where when Biden and Obama used to bring killers out, they would say, don't bring them back to our country. We don't want them. Well, we have to. We don't want them. They wouldn't take them. Now with us, they take them. Someday I'll tell you why. Someday I'll tell you why. Sarah Cooper is lip syncing to the voice recordings of Donald Trump. She is literally taking the words out of President Trump's mouth and then making a bunch of money with it. Sarah Cooper, thank you so much for being on our show. Please welcome Sarah Cooper. Bye-bye. Is that even legal? Let me tell you what I think. Hey creator, I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer. I am here to help you understand the law and I wanna protect your artistic freedom online. Today we're talking about Sarah Cooper. She's a comedian and an impressionist. She's been doing since about April of 2020, these impressions of Donald Trump lip syncing to his speeches, to his interviews and getting a lot of public acclaim. Although she's also getting a lot of criticism. She's actually taking President Trump's words and then using it to her financial gain. Today, we're gonna investigate, we're gonna analyze and figure out, is that legal? Can she do that? Can she take another person's words and then make fun of them and then make money on it and it be legal? We're gonna get into the legality of Sarah Cooper's impressions in a moment, but first, I wanna introduce you to Sarah Cooper herself. She's a comedian based out of New York City. She's written two prior books. One of them is called 100 Tricks to Appear Smart in Meetings. The other one is How to Be Successful Without Hurting Men's Feelings. She's a very funny comedian. She's also done a lot of stand-up. <laughs> Um, I was born in Jamaica. My whole family is Jamaican, um, and uh, they make fun of me because I'm the least Jamaican one in the family. But I think it's their fault for naming me Sarah. <laughs> Sarah is like the Karen of our generation, and she has moved in and gentrified my entire personality. <laughs> That's how she got her chop. She did a lot of stand-up in New York City, but before that, she also worked for Google. She was a Google Docs designer, and I think that's one of the main reasons why she's been doing so well on TikTok and YouTube. She has a lot of technological skills as well as comedic skills. Like, I worked at Google for a while, and my manager I am to me, and he said, Sarah, I'm doing the diversity report. Is it okay if I say that you're black? <laughs> and I said, I am black. <laughs> and he goes, oh great, even better. <laughs> Sarah Cooper got her huge fame on April 23rd, 2020. That's when she made her first lip syncing video where she was lip syncing to Donald Trump's speech. I wanna show you the video right here. We hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that has him in check, but you're gonna test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs, and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. Since April, Sarah Cooper has made dozens and dozens of videos teasing President Trump, and she's appeared on late night shows like this. And the very funny Sarah Cooper is on our show. If you don't know Sarah Cooper, she has these viral, I mean, they're amazing, TikTok videos where she lip syncs President Trump's like briefings or speeches. And it's just, the words sound different, even though they're his words coming out of her mouth. In fact, if you haven't seen any video, we're, you're in luck because she's debuting her brand new video tonight, right now, on our show. We're very lucky. Here is Sarah Cooper. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. 
people really like Sarah Cooper's comedy, but there's a lot of other people out there that question her ability to get people to laugh. They say, listen, it's not fair. She's using someone else's words and capitalizing on them, making fun of them, and then making money on the side and becoming famous. And that's not right. And a lot of people out there are questioning, is what Sarah Cooper is doing legal? The first step in analyzing whether something is legal or not is to actually look at the substance. In this particular case, we're looking at Sarah Cooper and she's using the pre-recorded voice of President Donald Trump to make fun of. So let's look at President Donald Trump's voice. If we tested half as much, those numbers would be down. But, but this we isn't burning embers, sir. This is a forest no, no, fire. But I don't say, I say flames. We'll put out the flames and we'll put out in some cases just burning embers. We also have burning embers. We have embers and we do have flames. Florida became more flame-like, but it's, uh, it's going to be under control. From President Trump's voice are words and he's using these words to express ideas. Now, ideas are not copyrightable. If you're just talking out on the street and talking about ideas or talking about opinions, those things are things you cannot copyright. However, we're not just talking about President Trump's words. We're talking about President Trump's words being recorded in an audio context or a video context. And the minute that your words, President Trump's words are recorded, they're fixed in a tangible medium. That means that they're able to be transferred, they're able to be conveyed, they're able to be edited, copied. And at that point in time, those words having been recorded, they are copyrightable. The next question is who owns the copyright to those words? Because you have to understand, you would think, you know, intuitively that President Trump would have the copyright to his own words, but that's not necessarily so. It depends upon who's doing the recording. It could be NBC News. It could be an interviewer that has taken an audio recording of President Trump. Those could be the owners of the copyrighted words that President Trump makes. But regardless of who owns the copyright to the recorded words of President Trump, the bottom line is that they are subject to copyright law. So anyone who uses the recordings of President Trump has got to comply with copyright law. And what copyright law requires is that you can't use someone else's copyrighted content without their permission. I'm just assuming, but based upon the fact that President Trump has unfollowed Sarah Cooper on Twitter and is really not liking her impressions of him, that he has not given Sarah Cooper permission to use his voice recordings in her comedy. So on the face of it, Sarah Cooper is violating copyright law by using copyrighted content and not getting permission. Sarah Cooper can't use President Trump's recorded voice, right? Well, unless there's an exception to copyright law, can we all say it together? Fair use. Yes, I've talked a lot about it in a lot of my other videos, but fair use is basically an exception to copyright law. It says, listen, the bottom line is we understand that in the history of humanity, art has been built upon art. So you can use someone else's copyrighted content, their video, their audio, their images, their art of some kind. You can use it without their permission so long as you're sufficiently transforming that art and making it your own. You do this by commenting on the art, by critiquing the art, by using that art for an educational or news reporting purpose. So fair use is an extremely important doctrine that we use almost every day on YouTube and the other social media platforms. And one of the fair uses is called parody and satire. Now, parody is imitation with purposeful exaggeration to make fun of or to criticize a person or some sort of cause. Satire is a little bit more specific. That's when you're actually using comedy, you're using some exaggerations, you're using irony to make fun of someone or to call them stupid or dumb. And you can do that, that's legal. You can use parody or satire to make fun of copyrighted art. You don't get the permission because usually you're not going to get the permission and you can make fun of it. And that's part of your making your own art. I always think of the famous movie Spaceballs, which is a complete parody, certainly a satire of the Star Wars franchise. That's a great example of taking the concept, a lot of the costumes and making fun of everything in the Star Wars franchise in order to express a larger belief. I think Sarah Cooper's comedy 
her lip syncing to President Trump's speeches is a perfect example of parody or satire. She is making fun of copyrighted content. She's not getting permission, but she's making fun of it to express a larger message or to ridicule or to, to get some comedic effect. And that's exactly what the people who wrote the law want. They want us to express ourselves and we can do it with other people's art so long as we make sure that we are transforming their art and making it their own. And in this particular case, you have to say that Sarah Cooper is definitely transforming those words of President Trump. You actually don't even see President Trump's face in these videos. It's just his voice and she's lip syncing to it and then making facial expressions, um, it maybe doing jump cuts and things like that to make us laugh. And that's a perfect expression of parody and satire and gets her around violating copyright law. But I wanna know what you think. Do you think Sarah Cooper's impressions are funny? Do you think it's illegal? Do you think that she should be prevented from using these recordings without the permission of President Trump to be able to make fun and to be able to gain popularity? Let me know in the comment section below. And listen, today we've been talking all about copyright and fair use rules on TikTok. I've spent a lot of time going through the terms of service and I put together this pamphlet, this checklist of sorts, which is called TikTok in two. It's basically TikTok in two minutes. It's a real short pamphlet. You can review it and then you will know the rules of TikTok without having to go through all the legal words of the terms of service for TikTok. If you'd like to get my TikTok in two, you should text to this number right here. Just text to this number and you can get a free copy of my TikTok in two. I'll also drop a link to this PDF file in the description section below. We also talked a lot about fair use in general. If you wanna learn more about how to use fair use in your TikTok videos or your YouTube videos or any other social media platform videos or podcasts, you can watch my video right here. And as always, as you watch, I'm gonna be at iancorzine.com to answer any of the social media law questions you have.